Hi, Tech Coach Sheena here, and today I'm going to show you how to upload a PDF to Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. So what you do is go to Amazon.com and you'll scroll down to the footer and then click on Self-Publish with Us. And I already have an account. I'm just going to go to Sign In. I guess at some point I'm going to have to verify my payment details. So if I get royalties, then I can get them directly to my bank account. But right now I'm just going to create a new book. Now the bookshelf is where you have all your past books that you've uploaded. You have reports, community, and marketing. So I'm just going to go to create. You can do Kindle ebook. You could do paperback and hardcover, series page, or Kindle Vela. So those are short one episode books. I'm going to go to ebook. Now here you're going to fill this out. So this is actually my honors thesis that I wanted to save just in case I can't find the file. So I wanted to just upload it. Actually, let me put this as the subtitle. Okay. It's not a series, it's just my honors thesis. Edition, let's just put first edition. Author, Gina. Oops, so. Last name. I'm going to put this here. My maiden name is what I had when I originally wrote this, but my current name and married name is Decker, so I'm going to put that in there. Author. And this is actually others, so I don't think I have an editor here, so I'm going to leave that blank. Description, you could put a description here, so up to 4,000 characters. I'm going to pause and write something here. Okay, so I've put the abstract of this honors thesis here and a little bit of description when this was originally written. I own the copyright. It's not public domain. Here you can choose keywords and if you're not sure you can click on this and open it in a new tab and read up more about that. I'll just pause this and put up to seven keywords. Okay, so I added keyboards. You can always edit these keywords later if you would like. Categories are important because that's the niche that your book falls into. This in my case is either nonfiction or education and reference. Let me just see if I look under education, general, it's not an essay. We can see if there's anything for thesis. I don't really see anything for thesis. I'll just put research. So let's save that. You can set a few more categories if you want to. So let me just see literary correct collections. 
sometimes you can edit your book and see if it falls into another category better. So let me just look. Let's see, counseling, classroom management. I don't know if it's necessary. Administration. Let's look in nonfiction. And law. Commercial, criminal, family law, government, intellectual property. Let me just look. Literary criticism. I don't think it really falls into that. So this is about legal language. So let me see. I'll just put research. Save. And I guess I could choose one more. Okay, up to two. So I'll just leave this for now and I can edit it later if I want to. So the age range, there really isn't an age range. So I'm just going to leave that blank. The US grade, this is optional as well. I don't think it's really a certain grade. I'd like to release it now, so let's go to save and continue. It's done. Now this tab, I always like to choose digital rights management. You can read up about it here. You'll upload the PDF right here. So I have it just saved. So it does warn that it may not produce great results with a PDF. This is a scanned PDF, so there might be a little bit of quality management they may we may want to do, but right now I'll just upload it for now and I can always change it later. Now I don't have a cover ready yet, so I might just launch the cover creator and you can easily choose a design, style, and preview. Let's go go to continue. Let's see, from image gallery, let's just say English. Let's see, plain. Hmm. Let me see if I do plain English. Nope. So let me go simple, maybe. Nope. All right. So let's go back to plain. And maybe I'm just going to choose this one for now. Use this image. Hmm. And this sort of stylizes. The book, I actually like this. Okay. So quick styles, we could choose a color. So instead of red, Let's see, I think I will use a different color. Let's just see if I can I can choose the font. Let's see if I can choose a color here. Let me do this highlight color. I don't really like that color, so let's do something darker or maybe, no, nope. let me do this one. Um, it's a little bit too, okay, so 
secondary color. It doesn't look like I can put in a hex code. So let me do kind of like an orangey color. Or maybe this one. Or Okay, let me see if I can do something even more subtle. Kind of like that. Let me see. Mm. Okay. Kind of like that one. Nope, I don't like the peach one. Or maybe this one. Okay. So let's save this and let's go. You could start over if you make a mistake. Let's go to preview. This is my first time using the cover creator. So save and submit. Okay, so we've got the cover. We can launch the previewer. Now, because this is a PDF, it may not look great, so I might want to go in and make some improvements. But right now, I'm just going to pause and let this finish scanning the file. Okay, here's the previewer. And you can scan through. It will tell you the page number here. So this is kind of what the tablet looks like. Oh, and it looks like this PDF needs to be the orientation needs to be changed. So, or maybe that's what it looks like on a tablet. So let's look at, let's look at, portrait um, landscape. So that's interesting. Beginning. So I might actually want to try to edit the PDF or convert it because people will have to rotate their tablets for this to look good. And I can see there's a lot of spacing in between the page breaks. So I might go and before I publish this, close out the preview and make some adjustments to my file. So right now I'm just going to go back and let's go to, we'll put the ISBN, we'll just leave this blank for an ebook. You can put a publisher, that's optional. I'm going to save this as a draft because I think I want to make some improvements to that PDF. Let's go to save and continue. Let's enroll this in KDP select. All territories is fine. Amazon.com is fine. I'll do 70%. So Amazon must be $2.99 to $9.99. So I'm just going to put $2.99. And then this will fill in. You can allow the lending library if you want. This is locked because it's for the 70% royalty. So if I wanted to change that, I could. So let's save this as a draft. I'm going to go ahead and review this a little bit more just because there was that warning about the PDF quality. So I might want to go in and you can always Google converting, convert PDF to Word. I've had good success with uploading Word doc and docx to Kindle, so you could always get a, a PDF converter and see if one of these websites 
could help you do this. So free download. I don't necessarily want to download. So maybe I'll go to one of the other ones. Adobe is a trusted brand, so you can always try Adobe. Let's select that file. This is the same one I uploaded. Let's go to open. It's uploading. It's going to take a little bit. Okay, so the file's ready. I'm just going to go ahead and download it. And this gives me a preview, so let me open it up. And it looks pretty good. Now, an ebook is pretty easy to edit. So you just enable editing and you can go ahead and do that. So I might go back to one of these previous steps, Kindle ebook content, and let's upload this again. Let's try just the Word document without any changes. There are some things that you'll want to do in a Word document, such as avoid bullet points and check your spacing for indentation, maybe put bookmarks. So those are all good things. You can preview this. Okay, so here in the preview, it, mu it looks much better. Looks like there's some issues with the table of contents, so I might want to redo that. Maybe some spacing. So I will go ahead and make some pr improvements to this before I publish it just going to go back to save as draft. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss the next tech video. And let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see. Have a great day.